Hey Rocketeers, how are you doing? Happy Monday. Rocketeers, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a clock. How to draw a? Yes, Rocketeers. Remember, we have to be careful and we have to do our best work when we draw a clock. I'm going to show you some steps on how to draw a clock. First, you draw a nice circle. You better draw a nice circle. Alright, you're going to draw a nice circle. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be nice. All right, so now you are going to draw numbers. You are going to draw numbers. So you know in a clock there are numbers. You know in a clock there are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Before you write all the numbers, I want you to write... Just four numbers first. So our first step was to draw a circle. Our next step is to draw, write down four numbers. And the numbers we are going to write down are 12, 3, 6, and 9. Do you see how 12, 3, 6, and 9, they're vertical and horizontal? So that's what you're going to do. Look, you're going to draw, you're going to write 12 at the very top. You're going to write 6 at the very bottom. You're going to write 3 in the middle of the right side. And then you're going to write 9 to, like, the middle of the left side. So now you have 12, 3, 6, and 9. The only numbers now we are missing are 1 and 2, 4 and 5, 7 and 8, 10 and 11. All right, Rocketeers. Now, this is the cool part because we just learned about thirds. We just learned about thirds. Remember, thirds means... Three equal parts. Thirds mean three equal parts. So, Rocketeers, watch this. So, we have the 12 here and the 3 here. Rocketeers, pretend this is a slice of pizza. Look at that big slice of pizza. We're going to cut this slice of pizza into thirds. We're going to cut this slice of pizza into thirds. So, thirds. Thirds means there's going to be a slice here and a slice here. And they're going to be equal sides, all right? They're going to be equal. So we're going to write the number one here, and we're going to write the number two here. Rocketeers, do you see how thirds, this side is this side, this side, and this side, they're all equal. And look, Rocketeers, because you wrote the 12, the three, the six, and the nine first, it's all even now. And now we're gonna do the same thing here. We have three and six. We have this slice of pizza, we're gonna cut it equally into thirds because we have three friends, right? So thirds means three friends get three, get equal the same amount. Okay, so thirds. We have it here, but I'm going to do here and here. So, four and five. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same over here. So, I have my big slice of pizza, and I'm going to break it down into thirds. Three equal parts. Three equal parts. So, if I have that slice of pizza, then my seven can go here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same over here. Rocketeers, I think the main important thing is you have to start with 12, 3, 6, and 9. Okay, so let's write 12, 3, 6, and 9. So you start with 12, 3, 6, and 9, and then you write the other numbers. I'm going to write other 
other numbers in birds. Other number in birds. Okay, Rocketeers? You write the other numbers in thirds. And look, Rocketeers, you have your clock already. All right, so Rocketeers, we know that in a clock there is a there is a long hand, and there is right in the very middle. We're gonna try to find the very middle. Very middle is right there. So I'm gonna erase that part. Remember, Rocketeers, this is the very middle. This is where the minute hand and the long hand moves all the way around, and There you go. Rocketeers, you just learned how to draw a clock? Let's get it. All right, Rocketeers. So, again, first you draw the, a circle, the best circle you have ever drew in your life. All right, then you write the numbers 12, 3, 6, and 9. 12 on top, 6 on bottom, 3 on the right, 9 on the left. And then you cut the, the pizza slice into thirds to write the other number. So here's our pizza slice. We have to cut it into three equal parts. Here's an equal part from 12 to one, equal part from one to two, equal part from two to three. And now you add your long hand and short hand. Let me write that down. Long hand and short hand. Okay, hey, Rocketeers, yeah, you just learned how to draw a clock. So now that you know how to draw a clock, we can start with our next activity. Oh, yeah.